Meet the new moderate Islamist militia that's about the only Somali group to go against the dreaded Al Shabaab and win. It calls itself Ahlus Sunnah Wal Jama'ah, or followers of the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, and it's made up of followers of Sufism or mystical Islam. Children too bolster their ranks. In this desperate war, the age of soldiers is apparently not an important consideration. And these men are part of a new axis of conflict that's emerging in Somalia, one in which fighters are battling one another along religious lines. The only dispute I have with Al-Shabaab is a religious one. Our hopes are high that we will eventually crush them. After their morning rituals, they set off for the front lines. These men have accomplished a lot in a short amount of time. They have retaken some parts of Mogadishu under Al-Shabaab's control, one district at a time. This is part of a network of tunnels that have long aided Al-Shabaab militias to maintain a firm grip on Mogadishu. They go under roads and under buildings and extend for miles and miles to different parts of the capital. These militias say it took them 10 months to retake this neighborhood from Al-Shabaab. Today, their youthful commander and religious leader has joined them. Khalif Abdul Qadir Ma'allim is also a minister with the transition of federal government. He inspects Al-Shabaab's tunnels and a damaged mosque. The commander says he's lost many fighters in the fight to capture this district. They're fighting for a cause. This is an ideological war. So our, our losses are not lost. We believe they are in heaven and we are defending our religion. At one of Mogadishu's famous Sufi shrines that was torn apart by Al-Shabaab, he kneels down in prayer. Abdul Qadir insists his men will stop the fight once they reach their goal of defeating Al-Shabaab. We are just doing this for the sake of Allah and for the sake of the nation. So the day we get the victory, we are going back to our bases. The growing number of armed groups in Somalia is worrying many observers abroad. Almost every group in the Somali conflict is using religion to conceal their true political ambitions. And whether this country survives after years of bloodshed will depend on who wins these ideological and sectarian battles. Mohammed Adou Al Jazeera, Mogadishu, Somalia.